Hello, my name is First Lady Kathy Justice. I'm going to read a story to you today about West Virginia. This is written by a West Virginia author. Her name is Wendy Salvano. I hope you enjoy the book. The governor has already read you a book and I think you would enjoy that. It's Country Roads, West Virginia. You all know that song and it's just great and we all are instilled in love that song by John Denver. Love is all around West Virginia. Love is a feeling that comes from inside. Everyone feels it. It can't be denied. But how do we know if it's there? What's the clue? How can we see it? Just what do we do? Love's all around if you just pay attention. In people, in places, too many to mention. Go look at the park on the street, at the mall, you'll see love all over. It's big and it's small. Around West Virginia, in cars, on trains, in taxis and buses, on boats and on planes, in Beckley and Wheeling and Parkersburg too, you'll find there is love that will come into view. Right there on the lawn in Watoga State Park is a mom with her baby, hearing songs of a lark. She swaddles him, cuddles him, and kisses his ear. That surely is love. It's perfectly clear. At a store in Brookhaven, a girl gets a bear. She squeezes him, squishes him, and ruffles his hair. It's clear that she loves him. She's smiling and bright. She tucks him in softly, gently at night. That same little girl, the very next day, sees a friend at her school is t who is too sad to play. So she sits down beside him and listens and shares, making sure that he knows there's someone who cares. Now the boy who was sad feels much better, you see, so he runs home all happy to play with Maggie. They romp and they frolic, they fetch and they run. It's certain he loves him. They're having so much fun. I love West Virginia. You can see how love travels when shared with a friend. If everyone shares love, it will never end. From one to another, it's spread and it grows. You can't have too much, as everyone knows. An officer in Charleston who helps change a flat. A, a Huntington fireman who rescues a cat. The home team that makes the crowd cheer and clap. Each moment has love like a gift you unwrap. There's a father who sits at the table each night, helping out with the homework to get it just right. He's tired and busy, but that's love you know, giving up what you want to help someone else grow. It's not only people who show love, it's true. Just come and see the creatures that play in the zoo. The polar bear tumbles and rolls on her cub, and when they are finished, she gives him a rub. Where else is there love? How have we looked all around? I think we've forgotten. Love grows from the ground. In the mountains, in the gardens, and parks you will find that the earth shows us love in all shapes and all kinds. Wherever you look, love comes into sight. It's there in the morning. It's there in the night. But in all West Virginia, the best love you'll find is a love that is gentle and selfless and kind. That's from your grandmas and your grandpas. It's the love found at home. It shows up each day in things that people do and the things that people say. There's no greater love, I can tell you it's true, than the love of your family. Especially for you. This has been a wonderful book, like as I said before, from a West Virginia author. It shows that everyone can care about one another, and that's a great thing to do. You, everyone needs someone who thinks that, who knows that they care about them. When you get together tomorrow, March 2nd, get together with friends and just read to one another. That's great. You all can share stories, share time, and all, most of all, share your love and caring for each other.